today we will discuss about the transmission system if we consider the types of transmission system then uh, mainly three important transmission systems are there in case of automobile uh, automobiles that is uh, manual transmission automatic transmission semi automatic transmission so transmission in transmission system these are the three important types manual transmission automatic transmission and semi automatic transmission if we consider the manual transmission it is again classified into two types that is sliding mesh and second is synchro mesh and uh, similarly this automatic transmission system is also classified into two types that is hydromantic and torque converter so these are the uh, second type that is uh, automatic transmission system and hydromantic and this torque converter is required in case of this system why because uh, the self adjustment uh, must be there in case of uh, torque and speed relation okay so uh, this is very important in case of transmission system now how uh, the transmission system work works and uh, what are the components which is related uh, to the transmission system now we will discuss that part consider this is engine through this that engine shaft is come outside uh, this is actually cam shaft if we see uh, this engine okay so in that engine uh, that engine may be petrol engine or diesel engine so source of power is very important in case of any vehicle so how that power comes that is important nowadays uh, electrical vehicles are there so in electrical vehicles batteries are required okay and by using that uh, uh, we convert that power into mechanical power so in case of engine if we uh, consider the operation in that engine so here uh, i draw one diagram so this is actually pistons and this is cylinder for example 
so as this engine runs so according to that this piston gets move in upward direction and downward direction so as this piston moves in upward and downward direction so it is connected to this camshaft so as piston moves then camshaft shaft gets rotated so here chemical energy of that petrol is converted into mechanical energy by rotating this shaft okay so this shaft uh, gives the output power to the next part so the next part which is flywheel then the next part is related to clutch then clutch system is connected to that clutch pedal The next part is gearbox. this is gearbox and all these are the gears gear 1 gear 2nd gear 3rd gear 4 okay then this system okay this is called as main shaft this is called as a lay shaft and this is for example bearing is provided and here this is the output bearing now one more important system is uh, required for operating this gearbox that is called as gear selector mechanism
दिस इज गियर सिलेक्टर मैकेनिज्म एंड दिस पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज डॉक क्लच सो वन टू एंड थ्री इन दिस केस थ्री डॉक क्लचेस आर प्रोवाइडेड दिस डॉक क्लच इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस गियर सिलेक्टर मैकेनिज्म एंड दिस गियर सिलेक्टर मैकेनिज्म इज नथिंग बट which is used or operated in that vehicle for shifting the gear so we hold here and then we operate that vehicle or we shift that uh, gear from first gear to the second gear okay and according to that this dock clutch gets move okay and this dock clutch is connected to the required gear okay so in this way uh uh here these are the components which are related to the transmission system now how this system works i want to explain that so as engine is running it creates the power or uh, sh uh, that shaft gets rotated it is connected to the flywheel okay so as uh, <coughs> as we uh, here clutch is provided in that clutch the friction material is there that is friction lining may be there okay this is the main uh, material which is in that clutch that is that may be asbestos material okay cork material also available in that so this material is provided on the front portion of that clutch plate okay pressure plate is also required pressure plate so as uh, we operate this clutch pedal if we operate here force is applied then uh, in usual condition the clutch is in contact with this flywheel so rotation is continuously transmitted towards this gear box but if we want to change the gears then uh, disengagement of this clutch must be provided so while disengaging this rotation from engine towards the gear box we operate this clutch and due to that uh, disengagement takes place because this clutch and that assembly gets move towards right direction and due to that the contact is uh, or or disengagement gets takes place okay so this is the actually operation uh, which takes place while uh, oper while operating that clutch pedal okay so now this gears are continuously rotating and uh, the lay here lay shaft is provided here main shaft is provided and actual our uh, the main gears are located on the main sh main shaft okay now uh, if we observe the size of gears the size of gears is varying size okay so small size gears are also available then uh, this gear is greater than this gear and uh, this is again uh, small than this okay so variation of sizes are there means for example if uh, rotation rotation on this lay shaft or speed of that lay shaft is same for example uh, 1000 newton uh, rpm okay this lay shaft runs on 1000 rpm so all these gears runs on 1000 rpm but if we check the speed on this side then speed of uh, the, this main shaft gets change according to the size of the gear so rotation comes from higher size gear to the lower size gear then obviously rotation of main shaft is higher but if the rotation comes from small diameter gear to the big size diameter gear then rotation or rotation of main shafts is again is the less okay so this is the case 
so in this way this uh, operates so now if we want to operate that uh, vehicle or if we if we uh, run our vehicle on first gear then we operate this uh, gear selector mechanism and then dock clutch gets, connect, gets connected towards uh, the left side and now here dock clutch gets attached and now uh, we achieve the speed of this gear now uh, if we want the second uh, gear speed then this dock clutch gets moved towards the right side okay and now dock clutch is connected to this gear and now the rotation which is coming from this gear is transmitted here and now the uh, the speed of this main shaft is related to this gear similarly if we want third gear or fourth gear then according to that uh, now this shifting mechanism gets operated and it moves towards the uh, this gear or this gear if we uh, again change the speed like uh, fourth or fifth speed then this dock clutch gets uh, shift towards the left or right side so in this way this uh, vehicle or this uh, gearbox uh, gets operated and uh, after that we get the output uh, power or uh, on that output shaft now uh, the transmission system is again uh, in that included the one more important part that is propeller shaft if we consider the propeller shaft for example this is our truck so propeller shaft is like this this inclined shaft so this is propeller shaft and here uh, if we see from the upward direction then this is actually rear axle and on rear axle if these are the wheel this is the rear axle so the rotation which is coming from propeller shaft is come here and here the differential gearbox is provided and through that differential gearbox the rotation is transmitted on the wheels so this is differential gearbox and this is the rear axle so through this shaft actually this shaft is directly uh, this shaft is nothing but propeller shaft propeller sh shaft comes on uh, connected to the differential gearbox and as bevel gears are used here so that rotation is transmitted uh, uh, in 90 degrees and uh, due to that the rotation is provided to the wheels and uh, in this way the power is transmitted from engine towards the wheels okay and in this way the driving of vehicle takes place so today uh, we learn about the uh, types of transmission system and how that transmission system gets work okay so uh, we uh, stop here thank you